receive him still the dear Christ enters in. And God said, Yes, there be light. And there was light. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life is the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness. But the darkness has not overcome it. The light is coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have, have seen, seen his glory. The glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Let us pray. Father of light, on this Christmas Eve, we think about that special night long ago when a big bright star shone in the sky along with an angel that frightened shepherds. And the good news given to those shepherds was for us too. Do not be afraid. Tonight in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. This is the Messiah, the Son of God. When we sing the Christmas carols at this time of year, may we join the angel's song and so many others who are praising and thanking you for sending us Jesus. He is the very best gift you will ever give us. And tonight we just want to thank you again for how much you love us just as we are. Thank you for the way you care for us and will never leave us. In Jesus' name, amen.
Tonight, let us kindle the lights of hope, peace, joy, and love. Rejoice, for Jesus, light of the world, has come. For Jesus, he who bore your load of sin, as he knocks and asks and listen, sinner, will you let him in? Room for pleasure, room for business, but for Christ the crucified, not a place that he can enter in the heart of which he died. Have you any time for Jesus, as in grace he calls again? Oh, today is time accepted, tomorrow you may call in vain. Room and time now give to Jesus, soon will pass God's day of grace. Soon your heart will be cold and silent, and your Savior's pleading keep cease. Room for Jesus, King of glory, hasten now his word obey. Swing your heart's door widely open, bide him enter while you may. <laughs>
Light is defined as the natural agent that stimulates sight and makes things visible. Darkness can be defined as the partial or total absence of light. In the beginning, there was no natural agent to stimulate sight and make things visible. And so God spoke light into existence. While creation began physically visible, as humanity entered creation, there was a different kind of darkness that spread over the surface of the earth. A darkness that took root within the hearts of the very people God created. A darkness that was ushered in with doubt, entitlement, the desire for more, a distrust for God's provision, a feeling that created being could create better than the creator himself. This darkness led to feelings and experiences of shame, guilt, vulnerability, separation, fear. A darkness that continues to find roots within the hearts of humanity. While God himself continued to walk among his people, continued to lead his people by pillars of fire at night and clouds in the day, continued to speak to his people intimately through various messengers of good news, it was evident that until the true light came into the world, this darkness would continue to overwhelm the hearts of many. We celebrate tonight because Jesus, the true light, has come, a natural agent to stimulate sight and make things visible. Not only did Jesus come to cast light on the beauty of all that God created, but he came to make visible the plans of God from the very beginning, a plan that sees you in eternity with him forever. A plan that longs for you to choose to follow God wholeheartedly. Jesus came as a light to shine into those dark places of our world and our hearts. Those areas of brokenness. Those areas of shame, guilt, fear. He came as a light and there is no darkness that can overcome his light. But the light of Jesus doesn't just want to make visible those areas of darkness within us. Jesus longs to overcome those areas of darkness, to replace the darkness with his light that is life-giving. This Christmas, will you allow his light to shine into your life? Will you acknowledge the true light that Jesus is? Not just tonight on an annual time to reflect on his birth, but the light that you need each and every day of your life. Have you any room for Jesus? Have you recognized and acknowledged Jesus as the Savior of your life? I've been part of numerous conversations with individuals wishing we could know when Jesus would come again identifying that there would be a greater sense of urgency to share the good news if we knew how soon he would return. But friends, what if we are taken first? While we watch and wait for Jesus, the true light to overcome darkness once and for all, we must prepare our hearts to meet him. If you were to die tonight, would you find yourself welcomed into the presence of God? Jesus is the key to that welcome. We celebrate tonight because Jesus has led the way into eternity with God. We celebrate tonight that we serve a loving and faithful God who has always extended the choice to follow him to humanity. While he gives you a choice not to follow him, all of heaven rejoices at every choice to follow Christ. If you find yourself walking in a land of deep darkness this Christmas, might it be time to let the light of Christ in? To allow Jesus to stimulate the sight that he wants you to have and to make visible his plan for you. 
a plan that replaces sorrow with joy, brokenness with healing, unrest with peace, despair with hope, hate with love. Room for Jesus, King of glory. Hasten now his word obey. Swing your heart's door open widely. Bid him enter while you may. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for the opportunity tonight that we have had to reflect on you, the true light that has come into the world, the true light that has come into the darkness of our world, but the darkness cannot overcome it. Father, I pray that you would give us eyes to see your light, that we would yield ourselves to you and allow your light to shine within the depths of our being, overcoming that darkness. That this Christmas, we would allow your life to breathe new life within the depths of our being. We thank you for Jesus. And we pray, Father, that as your light shines into our lives, you would use our lives as a reflection of your light into the dark areas of the world around us. We thank you for Jesus, and we thank you for the good news of great joy for all people. In Jesus' name, amen. It came upon a The true light get, that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. At this time, we are going to kindle the light of Christ, symbolically allowing the light of Christ to shine freshly into our hearts, stimulating sight and making all things visible. As his light shines into our own hearts, we will also share the light with those around us. If you are worshiping with us from home, then we encourage you to take an opportunity to light a candle at this time and to share it with those in your households. Let us share the light of Christ.
Take a moment to reflect on the flame that you are holding. Reflect on the light that Christ longs to shine within and through your life. Take a moment to whisper a prayer of thanksgiving for Jesus, light of the world. While you will extinguish the flame in your hands, it is our prayer that the light of Christ would remain deep within you, a light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. The light of Emmanuel, God with us. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. The people who was walking in darkness saw the mighty light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a child has dawned. Isaiah 9 was 2. For to us a child is born. A child has been given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called the Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. Go, Go in the, the light, light of Christ. Christ. Amen, Amen and Merry Christmas. Christmas.